What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabaret games from tabletop to video games and today we are back with another Digimon Japanese first place meta deck and it's none other than Shine Greymon. Now let me tell you that I'm super excited to review this specific deck because not only is it BG13 but it also includes the new counter cards which a lot of people are definitely excited because it's like the new hand trap for Digimon but it's a lot more like restricted at the same time so at least it's not like completely unfair but then again it depends what kind of deck because when we did the video about the Royal Knight deck uh, it actually shows that you could actually Digivolve on your opponent's turn since that deck actually restricts you from Digivolving on your own turn at least you can use the counters for your opponent but now we're going to actually see a deck that actually really uses it and benefit a lot from it so before we begin, friendly reminder as always to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and I do really appreciate it. And also just as an announcement, we are planning on doing a membership. So we are doing a voting. So if you guys want us to start using either a YouTube membership, a Patreon, or even a only fan, which is actually in the lead right now, definitely start voting because we're going to be planning a lot of new like content for those uh, membership and one that a lot of people will benefit from. So let's get started on the deck. So we do have four core mons. Okay, so this is BT5 one. So when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon name contains Grey Mon or Omnimon, trigger draw one. So great power draw power. And then we have Agumon X Antibody, which Digivolve for zero over Agumon. On play, when Digivolve, reveal three cards from the top of your deck. Add one X Antibody and one card with Greymon or Omnimon, its name among them, to your hand. So, really good. Speeds up the process and give you additional draw as well. So, then we have Agumon from BT12. So, this is only on play. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card with Greymon in its name and one Marcus from among them to your hand. And then it has the Inherent, your turn, once per turn, when one of your red or yellow tamers becomes suspended. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP. Now there's a lot of like minusing DP in this deck. So it really gets rid of a lot of nuisance Digimon very fast and very easily. Which I really love about this deck. So then we have the new BT13. So for this one as well. And this is main once per turn. If you have... Uh, one of your Marcus is also treated as a 3000 DB Digimon for the turn and that can't Digivolve. Okay, so the whole scheme of this deck, like besides of the whole DB reduction and the usual like Shine Greymon like combos, it also turns your Marcus into a Digimon and plus the Marcus from BT13 is really good. So you can benefit a lot with that Marcus and the Inherent is your turn once per turn when, uh, what is it? When your red or yellow tamer becomes suspended, you may delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. Very good. Okay, so now we have four Garo Greymon. Okay, so this is also from BT12. And this is Digivolve 2 from a level 3 Agumon in its name and Dinosaur in its trade. Interesting. Okay, when Digivolving, if you don't have a Marcus in play, you may play one from your hand without paying its memory cost, which is very good because the new Marcus is a play cost of five. So it's good that you can actually start playing those really high tamers for free. Okay, his inherent is your turn once per turn when one of your red or yellow tamers becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon gets 2000 DP for the turn. Really, really good. Okay, then we have two Gyo Greymon from EX4, okay? So this Digivolves two from level three Agumon in its name and Dinosaur in its trait, okay? So start of your main phase. If you have a red or yellow tamer in play, gain one memory, pretty good. Your turn, once per turn, when a red or yellow tamer becomes suspended, draw one card, really, really good. Okay, next we have four Gyo Greymon from BT13. So Digivolve 2 from an Agumon in its name and Dinosaur in its tray. When Digivolving, switch your security stack and reveal one red and or one yellow tamer card and play it without paying its memory cost. If you played a card, we cover one. That is really, really good. So if you're playing quite a bit of tamers, you could definitely benefit a lot from it. And also, that's really, really good. So level three wow you you know you could use this in like a lot of like security control decks 
that were playing like yellow security control like that would actually be very beneficial that's actually a really good card okay your turn once per turn when your red or yellow tamer becomes suspended you may delete one of your opponent's digimon with 3000 dp or less this is a really good card i love it okay then we have two rise Greymon x antibody okay so Digivolve one from Rise Greymon. When Digivolving, you may play one red or yellow Tamer card from this Digimon. It has a Razor Greymon or X Antipani in its deep. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. I'm really uh, screwing up on the reading. Sorry, guys. All right. In its Digivolution cards, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2000 DP for each red or yellow Tamer for the turn. Okay. There you go. I, I don't know why it's so hard for me to read the, today. So sorry about that. Okay. Your turn. This Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for each Tamer you have in play. So that's really good. So two of that. Then we have three Rise Greymon from BT12. So Digivolve three from Geo Greymon. Okay. When Digivolving, if you have a red or yellow Tamer in play, gain one memory. Okay, so it costs is pretty much two. Okay, all turn once per turn. When your Tamer is deleted, place one Marcus from your trash at the top of your security stack face down. What? That is really good. Okay, so all turns once per turn. When your tamer is deleted, place one Marcus from your trash at the top of your security stack face down. That is ridiculous. Wow, that's actually really, really good. Okay, so now four Rise Greymon from BT13. So this is Digivolve 3 from Gear Greymon. And when Digivolving, you may play one Marcus from your hand without paying its play cost. So pretty free. Okay, all turn, once per turn. When your red or yellow tamer is deleted, place one Marcus from your trash face down at the top of your security stack. So yeah, it does quite a bit of recovery in this deck, so it's quite good. Wow. All turns, once per turn, when your red or yellow teamer is the leader, place one Marcus from your trash face down at the top of your secure stack. Ooh, so good. Imagine you have them like all stacked up. That's ridiculous. Okay, now we're going with our first, okay, counter Digimon. Okay, so two were Greymon Ace, okay? So Digivolve 3 from a level 5 Greymon in its name. So really good. Okay, so hand, counter, blast, Digivolve. Your Digimon may Digivolve into this card without paying the cost, which is ridiculous, okay? So blocker, when an opponent's Digimon attacks, you may suspend this Digimon, okay? All turns, once per turn, when this card is removed from your security stack, unsuspend this Digimon. Oh, when a card is removed from your security stack. Wow, that's actually really good. So yeah, so how the counter is, what I was told was that when a Digimon declares an attack, that's when you're able to do the Digivolution, okay? And you could Digivolve it. Then there's the drawback, okay? So overflow minus four. When this card is sent from the battle area under your card to other places, lose four memory. Okay, so you lose four memory if this is bye-bye, which is quite fair, but you're still getting a Digivolution for free and you're drawing a card and it's actually pretty good. So I'm happy it's not too broken for the ability. Uh, it is a good blocker that's 11 DP, so not bad at all. Okay, then we have three Shine Greymon, which is Digivolve 3 from a level 5, and its name Kadein Rise Greymon. Okay, so pretty cheap. Okay, when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of your opponent's security Digimon gets minus 3000 DP for the turn for each red and yellow tamer you have in play. Your turn, all your Marcus Demons get plus 3000 DP and security plus one. Oh my god, this is BT12. So this is insane. So your uh, Marcuses are going to be really big boars over there okay then we have the new bt13 shine greymon burst mode okay so burst digivolve zero from shine greymon by returning a marcus in play to the owner's hand at the end of the turn trash the top card of this digimon now this is fine because you're playing marcuses for free pretty much so when digivolving you may play one marcus uh from your hand without paying its memory cost the tamer played by this effect is also treated as a 12,000 dp digimon that can digivolve that can't digivolve okay and gains rush until the end of the turn so your marcus becomes a big boy that has rush okay your turn once per turn when one of your red and or yellow tamers becomes suspended trust the top card of your opponent's security stack wow this is insane so they're playing two of this which is really insane that is just 
crazy okay so now i have to read the market so bt12 okay start with your main phase if you have a digimon with agumon or Grimon, it's named by paying one memory this tamer is also treated as a digimon with 3000 dp and it can't digivolve for the turn okay your turn when this tamer becomes suspended one of your digimon may digivolve into a yellow card with Grimon in its name from the hand without paying its digivolution cost so quite good so for that and it only costs four then we have the one that costs five okay this is from bt13 so start of your turn if your memory is at two or less set it to three so memory tamer which is very good okay especially that it's a play cost of five that's definitely a, a bonus okay on play you may suspend this tamer not bad now it gets interesting all turns when this tamer becomes suspended one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3000 DP for the turn. Then, if you have a Digimon with Agumon or Greymon in its name in play, gain one memory. So, you could literally just suspend it, pop things, gain a memory. So, you actually get memory for free with this card. Plus, you are popping your opponent's Digimon, which is just insane. So, this is definitely like really crazy now i have seen other decks play marcus just to get rid of like you know like psychmon or like other like digimon that becomes a nuisance which i found out so thank you for that but a deck that could really benefit and abuse this ability this is just crazy and also it's not once per turn okay so if you're able to unsuspend it and resuspend it as well you are gaining that memory so that's incredible crazy especially if he becomes a digimon you just attack it's suspending trigger the effect pop something gain a memory oh so good okay and then finally for the option card it's for offense training okay which is like the new memory that everyone's playing now okay so it costs two which is the biggest difference so it's easier to play so reveal the top two cards of your deck add one red card among them to your hand place the rest at the bottom but the delay is that when you're going to digivolve okay you could send this so reduce the cost by two so you're not gaining the memory it's reducing the cost but also like you're looking at the top two cards to add one red card but the main purpose is like the cost is two so you can actually play it and then commit to smaller plays and instead of it just passing turn so this is a very good deck it's very strong we're, get, we're just going to go fast scheme like slower so everyone can see all the numbers so you can see this four 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 two go up over here three two four three up here two four two four uh, four, 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 and then four digi egg. And that's it for the Shine Greymon. Now, let me tell you that I think this is going to be a big issue because we've seen multiple uh, Shine Greymons again first place now in uh, the Japanese format. So as soon as BT13 arrives over here, we're going to see a lot of players playing this deck because this deck is just consistent. It does one thing and it just does it really really well it just goes spam deletes digimon consistently and it's not even like a deck that you could even like i it just like the build is so consistent so it's like you won't even like get like dead hands like with a build like this like it's still possible like sure why not but like just like the build of it, it's just it's so consistent it just uh balanced like perfectly and i really love this deck now if you guys enjoyed today's video you know what to do like and subscribe and if you want to sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel you can follow me on my instagram von gear i'm von and this was the gear channel